I am Professor Khalid Khan. Today we are going to talk about publishing a letter to the editor in a biomedical journal. I am uh, from University of Granada in Spain from where a couple of days ago I took a flight to Slovenia to deliver uh, some teaching in the doctoral program here in the university and uh, the presentation uh, comes from uh, this beautiful uh, country to you. Our presentation today will cover what is post-publication peer review, what are the success rates of letters submitted to journals in terms of publication rates, and uh, finally we'll give you some tips about how to write a letter. Here is an example letter. It appears, as you can see, from, uh, uh, from this section of the PDF file of the journal that this is a letter to the editor section. And uh, you can also see that this is a letter authored by myself concerning research misconduct. And uh, in PubMed, it appears as a citation where it also highlights as to which paper my letter will comment about and further indicates that the author of the original paper have also replied to my letter. So this way a letter contributes to the final uh, version of record presented in a scientific journal through what we call post-publication peer review. Well, the process of getting published involves uh, various steps, uh, getting approvals, collecting data, analyzing data, writing the manuscript and submitting it to a journal. It is peer reviewed, it may be revised, it may be rejected and resubmitted. And uh, at some stage, this cycle comes to an end and the paper may be accepted. On its publication, readers get access to it and uh, a clinical reader, a person undertaking a systematic review or one writing some clinical practice guidelines, has then the opportunity to comment on this published paper via the correspondence or letters to the editor section of the journal. But to begin with, as no article can meet all of the appraisal criteria uh, and no published studies can be completely 100% flaw free, there is likely to be um, some error along the way and no study can be completed exactly as originally planned. However, editors and reviewers don't always pick up all these flaws and have them corrected or commented upon in the, in, in, in the discussion sections in uh, the peer review and revision process. So an astute reader can pick up these issues and write a letter about them to the editor. There is always room for improvement in interpretation and the reader's feedback to the journal is valued as it puts in perspective the findings were published in, uh, in the version of record presented by the journal uh, but then improved through a letter to the editor that will accompany this publication. When I was uh, chief editor of this journal, we received around uh, 1,600 submissions a year of which nearly 90% were rejected. But looking by publication type, primary studies and systematic reviews had 15 and 30% acceptance rates. On the other hand, letters had nearly a 100% acceptance rate. This is because to any journal, publication of a letter will help boost its impact factor. The article author will get an additional citation. 
but also you as a professional writing the letter will help improve your own standing in the profession. So, preparing a letter, submitting it to a journal and getting it published is a win-win for all parties involved. Many journals give instructions uh, about various aspects of their correspondence section, but frequently they don't tell you how you could prepare a letter. So some years ago, I had prepared a post concerning this, and I draw from this post uh, to, to give you some writing tips. But first of all, having checked the journal's instructions, you should ensure that you are writing your letter within the time limits permitted by the publishing journal. Also, you got to follow the various other restrictions that they might place on word count and numbers of citations permitted. Well, you're going to start by, in simple terms, uh, writing, addressing the editor and referring to the article about which you are going to make a comment. And uh, the initial sentence or sentences should say something positive about the letter. For example, you could comment on the burden of disease um, that is covered in the paper in terms of uh, its importance. You then directly comment on the aspect of the paper that you found controversial or that triggered you to write this letter. You might even take that text from the original article and put it in inverted commas. And then go on to explain why this aspect that you have highlighted in inverted commas uh, has some problem. For example, why is it illogical, scientifically flawed or impertinent? Or perhaps there is some erroneous exaggeration of the importance of the findings. Uh, this type of spin is quite common uh, in scientific articles. And give reasons with some references to back your argument. You may even refer to critical appraisal or reporting checklists. Uh, and this way, the editor can see how a scientific argument is being made for uh, the statement you express in your letter. Finally, to conclude, you will state as to how this error you identified or the flaw you picked up can be moderated or corrected. For example, you might say how it affects the interpretation of the findings, or you might even say how enhanced transparency in reporting could uh, make the publication uh, more justified. In response to your comments, the author then has the opportunity to provide a response, including providing new information that you might have requested. And then your letter is ready for submission. You just have to add your name and affiliation and send the letter to the journal in the format it requests. Perhaps you have to send it back as an email to the editor or simply reply on the website of the journal if they have the reply function along with the journal article. Or perhaps they will ask you to go to the journal submission platform and upload your letter as a Word file or a PDF file to the journal. Well, having done that, good luck. You expect to receive a reply within a couple of weeks uh, with acceptance of your letter, perhaps with some minor uh, changes proposed by the journal editor. And uh, then your paper, uh, your letter in response to the paper with a reply from the author, hopefully, will be published uh, within a few weeks after that. So thank you for listening and give us your own comment about your experience of writing a letter and dealing with a journal over getting it published. Thank you.